Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey, Keith. What? How many cent a peerless bourbon have? Hey, man, him with the bourbon swag. I need more bourbon shirts. Yeah, I, I've got like one, I think. Yeah. I've got a Buffalo Trace. Yeah. I think that's it. That's pretty much it. So anyway, you're Keith, right? Yeah. Today? Today. Maybe tomorrow? Probably tomorrow. If you remember? Yes. You're kind of old. I am old. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk to y'all about some bourbon and some country music that we know nothing about. And this is my favorite kind of bourbon. It's a bourbon bribe, isn't it? Exactly. This one's special too, isn't it? But I, what? Isn't this a special bribe? Well, kind of. It's, well, yeah, thanks Jerry and Joe. You guys rock. I've never had this bourbon. So, it's another hard truth, though. We we just had a hard truth, didn't we? Not, Recently. Not yet. But I know we're going to do one. Okay. Um, this is a hard truth. Four years aged. Henry A. Sipes. Bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey. Double oaked. In a smoked barrel. Wait, 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 wait. Smoked barrel? It says smoked barrel. What the hell is a smoked barrel? Well, we'll have to find out. This is a 90 proof. Yeah, well. So I'll crack this open. What did Jerry and Joe recommend? So we get to hear an OG. Ooh, we like OGs. Yeah, so OG we haven't had on the channel before. True. So we get to check out um, Merle Haggard's uh, Sing Me Back Home. Is that the right? Sounds right. Yeah. I think that's what she told me. Okay. So, Merle Haggard, Sing Me Back Home. Sing Me Back Home. We, we like OGs. Back so. Home Again in Indiana? I don't know where home is for Merle Haggard. I don't either. <laughs> Alright, let's check it oh, out. Oh, dang. What? They came out with a force. Digging that. The warden led a prisoner down the hall. I stood up to yeah. say goodbye yeah. like all the rest And I heard him tell the warden Just before he reached my cell Let my guitar play in friend do my request Let him sing Take me away and turn back the years and sing me back home before I die. Oh, yeah. I recall last Sunday morning a choir from off the streets came in to sing. And I heard him tell the singers There's a song my mama sang Could I hear it once Before you move along Let him sing me back home With a song I used to and make my old memories come alive Take me away And turn back the years And sing me back home before I die Sing me back home before I die. I yeah, these trumpets are a little out of place. So, 
clearly, clearly a, a good song. Great vocal delivery, great telling of a story. Yeah. You know, my thoughts on that are a lot of people have, have sung songs about execution from the view of the prisoner. Right? And uh, my favorite of those is Hallowed Be Thy Name by Iron Maiden. Now, if you're not a metal rock fan, well, Maiden's pretty much metal, but they're very early metal. Um, you don't have to listen to the song, though I think it's an amazing song. Go read the lyrics to Iron Maiden's Hallowed Be Thy Name, because it's another view, like this one, okay. of a uh, prisoner awaiting execution. But their lyrics are a little more stark. What are you doing? Oh, you can't stand that being in there. So, so like the, the maiden view is, you know, um, as the priest comes to read me my last rites, I take a look through the bars at my last sights of a world that has gone very wrong for me. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. you know, their view is, is a little more panicky. Um, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. And this view is... Send me off with some cool music that takes me back. Takes me back home, where I belong. And I, I really don't think that any of us are really capable of uh, describing which way we would want to go in that situation. Not but, us where we're there. Yeah. Um, pretty dark subject material sung really well. Beautifully. Yeah, like, really well. His vocals were killer. It, yeah. Seriously, they were killer. The instruments in the background were weird. Like, they hit different... Like, the, the pedal steel didn't come in until almost, what, the third stanza? No, I think it was about halfway through the song, so... Yeah, yeah so. but it was weird. And then the trumpets at the end, wait, what? <laughs> that was weird. But... You know, those could have been symbolic. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. He died. Yeah. He's been taken away, but I don't... Yeah. The, you know, the angels. Yeah. Why are the angels, though? Maybe uh, he didn't really do it. But everybody's innocent, right? Everybody in prison's innocent. Just ask them. <laughs> that's, that's, I think you hit it. That's right. That's symbolic. Wow, that's cool. You that's know, cool. I, I, didn't, I didn't think of it, you know, until you were like, the trumpets were weird. Because when I heard the trumpets, I was like, man, that's really freaking out of place in this song. Right. But, yeah, I bet, I bet that's, they but were symbolic. That yeah. fits. Huh. huh. <laughs> so what do you think of this bourbon? I, I need to go at it again. This, to me... So it doesn't have a great nose. What? It's a sweet nose. I'm not getting that. What do you get? It's not like tires. No, it's not. It, I've, we've had one where I... I so, you ever smelled an old log in the woods that's all rotted apart? That's kind of what I'm getting here. That's weird. A mossy log? Yeah. You're getting a mossy log? A mossy log. That's funny that you say that, and I'll get to that. why? Because you, you're kind of going along the lines of something I'm thinking when I drink it. So, when I drink it, I think to myself, hmm, self, if... Bourbon was made like scotch, where they actually smoked something before they, like in the distilling process. This is what it would taste like. Because it, it's got a smoky, that smoked barrel you taste. I taste it. I don't know if you taste it. I taste it. Is that what that is? At the very end? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like, what was that? It's like undescribed. Like, it's it's not like a like a, a a peat smoke. And this is double barreled, double double oak. It it's not a peat smoke. Right. It's it, Dustin's right. It is weird. Not bad. Yeah. I don't think. Uh -huh. Just a little weird. Different. It's different than any bourbon I've ever had. I've never had it. I guess I've never had bur. Holy crap. So, have you ever have you ever had a smoked like old fashioned? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's even got the citrus tones. Yeah. From an old fashioned. Holy shit, this is a smoked old fashioned in a glass. 
It kind of is. Without the extra stuff. Mm hmm. It's keto. Keto old fashioned. Holy shit. That was bad. No, seriously, that's what it tastes like. It's an old fashioned in a glass, a smoked one. Complete with the citrus notes. Yes. Actually... And the bitters and everything. Yeah. So if you like an old fashioned, you might want to check this out because I would drink it again. You save money on, on fruit. And bitters. And bitters. Yeah. Uh, so, again, this is 90 proof. So, higher proof. That, that's about right. Higher proof than an old-fashioned. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> by at least factor of three. I was going to say, <laughs> by at least half. Uh, so, I said aged four years. Again, so this is Hard Truth out of Brown County, uh, Brown County, Indiana. So, just south of us where all the hills and stuff are. We need to take... We I'll take the bike, you take the Porsche, and we'll, we need to go check this place out. I'm down. Yeah. Um, just try to see if there's anything. There's a lot of marketing wonk stuff on here. I'm not even going to. Oh, no, 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 no. Amuse me with the marketing wonk stuff, please. <clears throat> it's really small print, so. Pinky's out. Yeah. Well, thousands of years ago, glaciers. Stop. Carved Stop. magnificent rolling Why landscapes did I ask for this? Stop. in southern Indiana. Glaciers. Uh huh. Stop. I don't want to know anymore. Indiana's first pioneers settled among hills and hollows, bringing them a legacy of whiskey making. The freaking Cherokee were making whiskey? No. It's oh, like, the Adena. This is the pioneers. Oh, the pioneers. The pioneers settled. Oh. After they killed all the... They were the first ones. <laughs> anyway. Um, so I'm going to just skip to the end. Raise a glass to S Sipes and give a nod to the Brown Counties of yesteryear and their pioneering spirit. I never should have asked for that. You asked for it. I won't do that again. I delivered. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> I am. I am sorry. So, good bribe. Yep. Cool tune. I'm glad we got to hear Merle. We've yeah. heard of Merle, but we haven't heard Merle. So, right. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate the OG. Yeah. If you guys want us bribe. to listen to more Merle, you know what to do? Send us a bottle. Well, yeah, yeah there's that. Or vote for Vote somebody. for lots of it in the comments. <laughs> so, But if you want to send us a bottle, we'll do that too. Yeah. Well, that's the fast track. We operate on the democratic process here. Right. Your votes push songs to the front. Right. But a bribe beats the votes. Of course. Just like the process. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, click the little bell so you get notified. Uh, drop down in the comments. Tell us what to listen to. Tell us what bourbons to, or North American whiskeys to drink. Yeah. And, uh, hey, till next time. See y'all.